go. Reinventing part one. I think they glittering. I think it's glittering too much. Uh, going to be coloring and eating ice cream. Um, we just got back from the park. Um, and it was amazing. Yeah, transformative. Oh, do you mind introducing yourself as well? Thank you. Hi, my Nessa. You know, me. <laughs> That's all I got. That's all we got for you. Just me. Yeah, we about to eat some ice cream. Damn, that's a I'm big scoop. Fighting with it. He was like <laughs> juggling. Fight with. This is good. This is really good. Four. Every three Wednesday, four. three to four. No. Sixteen cents. Sixteen cents. Oh my god. Uh huh. Oh, I like that. that's nice. Thank nice. you for telling me. Yeah. We're going. I should have recorded that. That's so funny. Bus. Mm, bus. Ooh, good. It's coffee and vanilla. Mm. And I didn't ask her for no chocolate syrup. That's all right. Mm -mm -mm. Hopefully, she'll come back up here. This ice cream is going everywhere, y'all. Whoa, whoa. Damn. <laughs> it's so much going on. It happened. That is so funny. Clean it, up, clean it. Like <laughs> I'm like, how the ice cream dripping like this? This is kind of homemade, it seems. I'm sorry, one last request. Yeah. Can I get some chocolate syrup? Is it still possible? No. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Do I give this to you or? There you go. Thank you. Yeah, we gonna need a couple more. This is so good. This is so good. Thank you. Hmm? Oh, no, thank you. Thank you, though. Thank you. She's so sweet. This is so good. I'm gonna give her. It just in my mouth. It's just like a little bit. Mm -hmm. So smooth. All right. We're going to eat this ice cream, and then we will have more to say a little later. Yeah. Okay. We... <laughs> One at a time. All right, update. I know I got to give the little bathroom updates. Um, we're about to go to this cat cafe and just chill. We're going to head there, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Okay. Look at this shit. I'm not fixing to be manhandling this toilet paper. Goodness. Okay, let me go ahead and give y'all the... Razors. Yeah, good as hell. Ice cream, lady, phenomenal. Yeah. Um, where are we going? Which way are we going? Um, we gotta go this way. Okay. Um, so yeah. Wanna give a rundown on how that experience was? Um I say 
10 out of 10. The scene, the scene was amazing. Like the, the arts, the windows, they had a uh, the stained glass. The stained glass, yes. Y'all saw that, y'all saw that. So just nice the scene tail. was nice. The, the ice cream was phenomenal. It was, it was creamy. It was smooth. It, when it, amazing. And it, and it was thebomb.com. Okay. It was made in-house. In-house. Homemade. Homemade. Nobody else was touching it. But then. Yeah. Exclusive. Definitely. It's exclusive ice cream, okay? Yes. Exclusive. Get as hell. But it so, was a yeah. good experience. Like it was something new. Mm -hmm. We were just walking down the street, found it. W place. Well, let me w tell y'all, because at first we was looking at insomnia. But I was like, I mean let me look around. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, let's see. And we walked down the street. Mm-hmm. Is this street right there? They got a little vegan restaurant that we found. So we already know. We'll be trying that out. We'll be trying that. Damn, and it looked like somebody. Ooh. <laughs> Almost went down. Almost went down. Try to make fun. Didn't see nobody in there. Huh? I didn't know there. It wasn't because the lights was off. Anyways, as I was trying to tell the story, we were passing by Insomnia Cookie. And I was like, let us look around. Then we were walking and Nessa saw the crazer place and was like, oh, they're, see they're sweets. So that we was just tried goal. that out. So we, we went in there. We saw and we did our had. thing. And, and if y'all ever go to an ice cream place, ask to try all the ice cream before you buy it. Yeah. Don't just order something. That, if y'all don't idea. use that privilege, <laughs> okay, because it'd be there. The worst thing that could happen is they say no. So. Right. Right. So and they want you to buy their food, so. They gonna they let you, they gonna do every you. single one. Yeah. If you ask for all of it to try, they're going to give you all of it to try, okay? Ask. Ask. Communicate. Okay, we would have never known that they was doing 16 cents ice cream every Wednesday, and they just started it. We would have never known that had we not talked to that woman and see how she was and asked her for different ice cream and she communicate to us which one she like and don't like. Mm -hmm. Then she gave us that deal. So all y'all could be having to do, we got to open our experience. mouth. W experience. Mm -hmm. I would do it again. I am going back. 10 out of 10. Okay. All right. Now we're going to head to this cat cafe and I will update y'all in a bit. Sargis needs a fucking raise. Okay. Alright, the mission has been changed. A mission abort, mission abort. Y'all should already be used to this. Um dealing with me, because y'all know y'all know how me and the universe work together. Um so we're gonna go to Tipioca and then we're gonna go to the lake and just chill and smoke. So yes. That is the plan update. And I will see you all when we get there. This look a little scary. Hey, there we go. We at Tipioca Lounge and Cafe. Yeah, yeah. Y'all see it? Uh, I got that butterfly. Yeah. And then if you combine like that idea that we just have so many different choices we can make with the fact that whatever choice I make is still going to benefit me in the end in every situation and I may have to learn a lesson. Yes, it may be a lesson, but it's still something I learned. So it's still a win-win. So I'ma just go with it. I'ma just choose. That's why I gotta, I'm working on, or I'm done procrastinating. Because I have too many choices to just sit here and not make any. Because not making any, it still does something. It's still a choice. Not, make, not making, I don't know. It's still a choice.
what time? Bro, I've been I'm, like, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Are you? What color? Um, I'm thinking like a dark red, mm-hmm. maybe. Bro. That's not. I'm just gonna do like light, light brown. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm like for now. I was gonna do it too. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Look at that. I'm still color. thinking. Mm-hmm. I still got some time. Mm-hmm. But on the topic. Freedom. Oh. Oh, Uh, Just realizing that, I don't know, with me, I guess, I guess freedom for me, like, now that I see it, I'm seeing, like, how powerful that is, and, I mean, everyone has freedom to do whatever they want, but knowing the extent that you could go to Mm -hmm. i don't know produce something produce create something that someone hasn't seen before and be able Mm -hmm. to make a community of out of it yeah and knowing like how beneficial that would be to you as a person knowing that you could bring people together Mm -hmm. and people that don't feel like they have a space to go to or people that I don't know it's not even that it's just for yourself Mm -hmm. because I be trying to I don't know we don't have to search outside of ourselves to find what we looking for that's why I had to like I like immediately had to sit with myself and be like even if I went to Florida I feel like I'm still missing the point as far as being able to like experience different ways I guess of of living Mm. It was like, like when we look at things outside of us, it's like, well, this is better over here mm. rather than where I'm at. And like, that's why I'm like, I can take my time. I feel like choice, choices and time really have to learn to work together mm. because you can make a choice in the time and not be right. And everything still can be affected. Mm. Or you can work with time and, and really see where needing to or having to make that choice is really efficient. Mm -hmm. If I make the choice right now, like to, if I get a, like that job offer I got, like Mm -hmm. I can make the choice right now to say yes, because I feel like I need a job. So now I'm not working with time, I'm working against time because I now I feel like I have to speed this up Mm -hmm. rather than just meditating. People, it's hard to make, it's hard sometimes to, Mm -hmm wait it out and meditate on it and see if this is really right for me or if I'm just doing this off ego and fear Mm -hmm. and fear based and I feel like I feel like the answer would be clear when when you just sit and wait and so really knowing that like yes we can make choices but make sure you're really connecting with the frequency of the of the desired outcome Mm -hmm. I mean that's just I mean is that something you really want to do? Yeah. Is that something you see yourself in? That is that something that you can enjoy being? Enjoy being in. Yeah. Is that what you want for yourself? Mm-hmm. In this moment, like asking this moment? yourself yeah. those questions and yeah. answering them truthfully, really transparently, yeah. because your ego is still gonna try to be like, no, but I do think this is gonna yeah. be best. But it's like. Sit with it, please. Yeah. Wait mm-hmm. it out. Meditate at least on it 10 minutes yeah. and see if you answer, bro. That's, and like, I feel like I have to do that with the hard choices mm-hmm. because the hard choices make it easy life. And so it's like, when it comes to like decisions that I know are really going to like change the trajectory, like me getting yeah. a job when I know I want to start my business, like me moving to Ardmore, like me just. Mm-hmm making the hard choices that I'm going to have to make, it's still allowing myself to wait it out. It just makes everything peaceful. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't have to rush. Like, I don't... As long as I make the choice, um, that's important. But when I make the choice, when the divine is like, here, we're ready, Mm -hmm. choose, it's like a much different frequency. If we would have reached out to one another while the period, it probably would have been a different frequency. Mm. But because we just waited it out and allowed Bro, time to... That's true, because there were some decisions like I was having to make, and 
I was really like upset about everything like mm -hmm. I don't know just with my family like I was bro I was like the most like mad mm -hmm. I don't even like being mad but like Isaac he he got he mm -hmm. got some of it but we you know, talked it through mm -hmm. but I'm just like damn what is yeah. what is this and I was really sitting with myself and I'm like I'm I'm letting all this affect me mm -hmm. and I let that stop me from making the choices that I truly want to make mm -hmm. because I don't feel like I'm in the right space. I don't feel like I'm in the, I don't know. I feel like I need to be a certain way yeah. for me so to be, I don't know. Like comfortable so, making it? Yeah, or? I guess like a vulnerability. Yes, oh, like okay. a vulner vulner yeah, vulnerability. Vulnerability. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like, bro, that that seem that seems to be like the epitome of like I don't know, but it has to do with like you know you are a product of your environment. So mm -hmm. I I did see where I came from and how far like I did come. Mm -hmm. Like I did see my journey for what it is, and I am grateful for things playing out the way that they did. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, knowing that you can wait in the right time or knowing that mm, you can just allow for a little bit. Yeah. Just allow for a bit. But I guess, like, my whole thing with that is I was shedding a lot, yeah. shedding a lot of ideas and habits, of habits and thought processes and just like thinking how the world works because I get to make that decision mm -hmm. on how the world works for me like I could live a whole different I mean, already live a whole different life for my family mm -hmm. and why was I like I was like wait I gotta go back I gotta I don't know I feel like I had to be a certain way for them mm -hmm. but I mean. Yeah, that's not how you live, I think. And it's just like, yeah. no. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I'm not fixing to make you comfortable with my I mean, I, I could love you from a distance. Yeah. And they know that. They know that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's just like, I be chilling, really. I just want to chill. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't want to, I feel like relationships can get transactional sometimes mm -hmm. and I start uh, that's when I start getting uncomfortable I guess usually mm -hmm. that's how I felt with them I don't know maybe that's something else it's a different topic but knowing that I really just have the freedom to do whatever I want mm -hmm. whenever I want and, and like you could be mad you could throw fit you could do whatever you want but that is not changing <laughs> how I feel. I feel. If yeah. anything, it's gonna make me more upset that you don't. Or you're not respecting yeah. this. You're not respecting this part of me that I I am yeah. showing you is me at the end of the day, yeah. and you're not respecting it. And it, I mean, it's fine. That's why it's like you can love them from a distance because if you can't respect cert my certain ways of being that no longer are going to either put up with this, deal with this. Or I just feel like it it's not just, for me. Yeah, it was I'm not gonna involve myself. Yeah. And if y'all are just not used to that, mm -hmm. because that's all they do with one another. So it's like, I don't know. I feel like if it's four mouses running in one circle and you take one out, like the mouses are still yeah. going to keep running in circles. So anytime I enter, they still keep doing the same things they gonna yeah. do. Like. Because they're used to doing it. You gonna stay in that? You gonna stay right there? You could just sit there. They're still gonna be hitting you. Like, they're still going they're gonna to be. be <laughs> going, they might hit you a little <laughs> bit. They might run over you a little bit. But and you can either be involved and be like, "Damn," or wait. <laughs> let me climb out of here and let me step back. Literally. I'll jump in every few seconds okay. and see what y'all like. Y'all like doesn't determine anything yeah. about me. It just I don't want to be involved. It's nothing personal. Yeah.
That's why we. That's why we I just inform. Don't take me personally. That. Yeah. That's why I just like. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Mm-hmm. Leave it at that. I won't even question. And that's why, like, I feel like whenever I'm able to make certain choices, <clears throat> or like really have the freedom to make whatever choice, like with uh, with Diamante, it was like, like any choice I made, made, it was like he was just comfortable with it. So it's like, okay, well, obviously it was. I feel like it was very unique situ- situations that led us or led us to where we were. Cause, like again, he's still somebody <clears throat> that I see as a soulmate. So I don't mm-hmm. feel like we'll cut contact if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like he's still somebody that I talk to. Mm-hmm. But was, I have the choice to either, like. I don't know. I feel like this was the kind of better version of me that was like ready to like stop. Mm. It was just higher me being led. So it's like I can either resist the fact that right now is really a time for like solitude and if this is something that I feel like is continuing to put me in a that's certain something you place. don't really have to explain though. I mean, I yeah, feel like that's just something that. If you felt like it was something you needed to do and y'all mm-hmm. both talked about it to an understanding where y'all could both agree. Yeah. That's... And that was difficult. Because in my family, it just, again, based off environment, like, all the women in my family just have kind of, I don't want to say settled, but there's certain traumas, like, res- like existing in that field of things. Mm. Or, like, different generational traumas. Just as far as, like, men this is probably another conversation so i'm not gonna go too deep on it because this is actually something i feel like a lot of black women deal with as far as like being able to choose healthy masculine men and being comfortable enough to be like i don't want this anymore Mm. and like i don't know i feel like that's something that at least yeah that's going to be a conversation for something else because there's a lot of black women I know who are like that who just kind of put up because of, well, I mean, a lot of women I feel like just kind of being on both ends now and like really like sitting with myself and the feelings that I was feeling like, it's really difficult for a, I don't know I don't know, because a lot, damn, this is really a different conversation, so I'm in a place needs to pay. Did you hear about what they Yes. Yes. And then Wait, I, yes. I'm a statistic. <laughs> I'm a victim. Wait. I'm a victim. Because I tried watching some other. Me and I can't even watch Breaking Bad no more. I'm like, y'all was doing the most. Because y'all really didn't have to do it. Because why are we doing all of this? They already, is this a money grab? I don't really get it the point. Be. I don't get the point. There's no other reason. Y'all was already making money. Y'all was already y'all making money for its generations at this now point. Now y'all about to lose everybody. If I'm having to use the free damn pirated websites, are you kidding me? Right. To watch a movie, I could have just went on y'all's category and picked damn Nemo for real. Uh, I was good for years. For years. All change ain't good change. Shaking my head. <laughs> Cause why did they do that? That was unnecessary. That was so unnecessary. And the subscription is like $15, I think. I don't know. Y'all not even HBO Max. What are we charging that for? And now HBO Max is acting a fool because they done changed it to Max now. Yeah. I don't know the damn HBO Max password. So me having to re-log in and don't know if body in my family write down their damn passwords looks like I'm not on HBO Max anymore either. <laughs> Double L. Y'all, y'all really don't want me to have anything. Ever. Two L's in one damn week, please. Now I got Amazon Prime. It's just me and SpongeBob. Right. I'm like, Hulu. That's it. <laughs> ain't no Hulu. Hulu's been going YouTube. I've been on YouTube. Yeah, it's really been YouTube going crazy for me. I've been fucking. I'll be trying to get back into my movies because you know they be dropping gems in there too. But I'm like, damn, y'all not giving me no choices. All right, I'm just gonna make this like a little, another little vlog where I'm just doing random things at this point. Um, We're headed to the store.
because I'm hungry. I feel like every time we meet to chit chat, it's because I'm hungry and needed to go out to get food. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, I have made it to the desired location. I'm about to sit, eat. Y'all, I'm on my period, so I'm kind of cramping low key. So I was like, let me come out here and sit. I got me this poke bowl. It's like avocados, rice. I'm pretty sure there's some imitation crab shrimp. I don't know what the hell that means, but I just know I'm about to dig in. So yeah, also, I don't know if y'all saw, but oh, let me set this down. I painted my nails. They're green and blue. Yes, and my toes. And my toes. This is like for free, so y'all should be grateful. This ankle is not giving. <laughs> but yeah, I also I plan to try to um, do my eyelashes. I'm learning how to do those extensions, so I'm gonna do that too while I'm out here. And yeah, how's y'all's day been though? I hope y'all are doing good, doing well, eating well, eating good. Let me know in the comments how you've been this past week, how your weekend went. And yeah, I'm gonna dig in, so I'm gonna chat with y'all in a little bit. Mm, 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 so good. And I repeat, I'm not fighting with these flies over my food. Territory, territory. Okay, so I'm reading this book. I say this book, it's the First Nations version, like the indigenous translation of the New Testament. <clears throat> Of the Bible and like I'm not Christian I don't follow those sets of rules but I do still feel the Bible has a lot of keys in there um, because they come from our indigenous roots at the end of the day the Bible is a book full of indigenous indigenous practices um, beliefs etc so all that the Bible has taken is just a big jumble I guess of that and so I'm reading actual indigenous versions of it. And first of all, it makes so much sense. It resonates a lot more than reading the damn King James version. But kind of what I am, cause I've been seeing, and I'm gonna just talk this out with y'all. Like I've been seeing, it's really not people that I look up to in a spiritual aspect. They're just people I follow on Instagram. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. And she posted about like going back to Christianity and saying like she's a believer in Jesus. She's not a priestess or goddess or any of that. And I think, I feel like it doesn't matter for me what you believe in because the creator divine can show itself in multiple ways and as long as you're living to be a better person and you're not instilling those beliefs on different people then okay but a part of me was triggered I'm not even gonna hold y'all a part of me was triggered and I was sitting with it because I'm like why does somebody else who I don't even think was spiritual so now I was just speaking from a I guess a what's the word um, like I, it's just an example that I have put myself through in order to see how I would feel. And so why does somebody who's not, who is spiritual going back to religion, why does that bother me? And I sat with it and realized it's not the fact that I guess there's still a fear of missing out. So it's like, okay, I made it here, but they still chose... So am I doing something wrong? Like, is what I'm doing wrong? And then I sat with that a little more and then it hit me again. It was, I was more than likely persecuted, like persecuted for the beliefs that I believed in. Now it could have been with Christianity. I don't think so. I think what I was doing was what I'm doing currently in this lifetime. Um, but yeah, because the it was 
I can't explain the feeling that I was feeling, but it was like fear. It was just fear. I was feeling a lot of fear. And just sitting with that, I'm like, why am I fearful of somebody else? And when I sat with it and realized, okay, it's probably because I was doing something that everybody else saw as evil and fled from, I guess, if that makes sense. I don't know if this makes sense, y'all. It's 333, though. And so transmuting that is just giving me all the more power to keep doing what the hell that I'm doing because I know what I'm doing is breaking karmic memory for my lifetimes um, and I have to be the one to do it for my lifetime and so yeah that was just a really like cool I don't want to say cool because while I was feeling it I was scared I'm not even gonna hold you I was really scared but it was just because this kind of feeling has been lingering for many different areas for me and and so yeah i'm learning a lot from this book in a way that suits me um but yeah see opposition from the spirit like they kind of going in but yeah okay i am now headed back to my house um it's a good session i tried to work on doing my eyelashes but like i said i'm on my period so i'm very low on patience and the ants and bugs was just kind of doing it for me. And then I'm cramping. So it's just a whole lot of going on. Then I'm hot. I had to put my hair up. I'm just in a mood. And so, yeah, I'm going to go home. Work on it, on the eyelashes. And I will update y'all then. Y'all, look. I'm not done yet. We're still working. We're still working, okay? But look, this is my first time doing them as well. So, bro, success. It took a little bit for me to get started though. I was like, I was being patient, but I was getting irritated because it was not gluing. It wasn't sticking. Shit was falling. I don't have much space. I was like, ooh. But after the first one glued on, I was just telling myself like, oh my God, look at me. I know how to do lashes. And now look, they look so good. I look so good. Okay, I'm gonna update y'all later. <laughs> All right, they're done. Y'all, I'm very proud of myself. Like, like, let's keep it a buck. They look good, okay? <sighs> that took two hours but that's okay it was my first time doing them and yeah i feel like they look good i feel like they look really good there's still room to grow but i'm satisfied so what do i have on the agenda for the rest of the day okay there's per se um actually nothing i have a podcast to film uh well it's not my podcast it's for somebody else's um liz so i'm gonna try to uh post that like somewhere in the in the video a clip of it or something like that um and other than that i have nothing to do i was thinking about going to doordash should i do like a doordash with me for a week i was thinking about that as like a video so we're gonna see but yeah, I've just been chilling, listening to my readings while doing my eyelashes. Honestly, that was very therapeutic. I'm not even going to hold y'all. I see why a lot of women like do their own because I was very therapeutic. I just got to sit and look at me the whole time. So it's like when you get mirror work, because mirror work is very important. Mirror work is when you just sit and look at yourself and you talk to yourself and you just really see yourself in true form. If you stare at yourself for like 10 minutes, I don't recommend unless you actually are like really spiritually stable to do so because a lot of people freak the hell out um, because stuff does start to shift. But yeah, mirror work is chill. I love doing mirror work. Let me know if y'all do mirror work in the comments, but it's a very good practice. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just chill um, and wait until eight and then record the podcast and yeah <laughs> all right 
I am headed, well, first of all, outfit check. Hey, this time I kept my shoes off so I could do it properly. Um, so I think right now I'm gonna go DoorDash, question mark. Um, and then going to the park. This week is gonna be, it's been pretty chill. I think I didn't want to do too much this week because again, I'm on I'm on my thing. She's here, so I'm really trying to rest and just still go out, still do what I do, but just keep it to a minimum. I don't need to be doing too much. So yeah, that's what we're about to do now. Alright, I've made it to the cat cafe. to see like tubs this is so like what you but the pink one is lit and this one this one looks so good there's some more mm, so dirty though they got the cars okay okay Trippy doors, 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 doors. When one door closes, another opens. Doors, doors, doors. They got the music bumping in here. It's lit, high key. This is so fun. I could spend like all my time in here. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Doors, 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 doors. Doors. Okay, throwing that bag, throwing that bag. <laughs> All right, I just made it back. I'm in the car. Y'all, that antique store was lit. Bro, I, it's so many hidden gems in this city, y'all. I actually really love living here. I love living here. I'm not even gonna hold you. But, um, and the cat cafe is like right, like they're neighbors. So anyways, I'm going to first get a car wash and then I'm gonna head home because my rooms are here. I can't say it because everybody's so itchy itchy about that word but if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about and then perhaps i head to the park and trip or you know i'm gonna just let it i'm gonna see what i need to do see where i need to go i'm gonna let my spirit team team lead me so yeah all right i am at the park i just took the um equipment i should not say equipment y'all gonna be so confused anyways i just ate some of the chocolate bar um so apparently it said one serving is 4.1 grams but i read that after i ate two squares so <sighs> we're gonna have to see i i mean <laughs> i have no words i have no words i was trying to do the math in my head and so i was like well uh if i take if i take two because it's only a thousand milligrams that's only 10 per chocolate i don't know where that math came from all i had to do was keep reading the, the dosage 
but that's okay. I've set the intentions. I'm about to get by my tree. And I'm going to chill out. Someone have pity on me, for I am a man trapped in sorrow. Who will set me free from my broken humanity? I give thanks to the Great Spirit, for he is the one who set me free. Through the Creator sets free, Jesus, the Chosen One. So then, when I set my mind on what Jesus has done, I serve Creator's law. Even though in my broken humanity, I remain a slave to broken ways. So kind of what I understand this, how I'm translating it, is that the broken spirit is simply the fragmented parts of ourselves, the fragmented versions of ourselves um, that keep us doing the things we know we no longer need to do within this time period. So if I, for example, for me personally, this is when I'm upset and I'm triggered and I shut down and I kind of um, exhibit immature behavior. Even though my spirit is saying, I just need to communicate what is wrong. There was always something in me, in my past relationship that was like, I want to speak. I want to say what's wrong. I want to visibly, I mean, I want to, yeah, visibly and express myself. But I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Instead, I sat, I shut down, and I was consumed by my broken ways, what I learned throughout um, communicating my, ex dealing with an abusive relationship, um, growing up, just constantly being muted. I've just learned to do that. And so that was a broken way in me. Um, yeah. And I felt trapped in my own sorrow because I knew this wasn't the behavior I wanted to exhibit. But for some reason, I can't do anything else. I can't say anything. Why can't I speak? I felt trapped. I felt trapped in a vessel, in a, in a behavior that I know was no longer me and no longer suited me. It says, I give thanks to God. Um, they are the one that set me free through Jesus. So I rem remember Jesus is simply a brother. Jesus is not some being outside of, Jesus is not, Jesus was one of a kind, but he wasn't the only one, which is why we have so many different religions worshiping so many different people in general, people, Buddha, because these were people sent here to awaken, awaken people. That's it. They were just sent here to awaken people like many of us do, like I do. So when it's saying, for he is the one who set me free, it's not like freedom. Setting someone free is showing them that freedom exists and that they have a choice. That is how you set people free. You show them they have a choice to either continue where they're at or unlock that part of them that wants them so desperately to go where they need to go for their soul's fulfillment. Three, three, three. Then I set my mind. So setting your mind. So for example, we set our mind on our mentors and see what have they done in order to figure out how I can serve 
my higher self, how I can serve the divine. Even in the parts that are fragmented, I remain a slave to those broken ways. So this is duality. When I set my mind on what the creator sets free, what Jesus has done, again, Jesus is just somebody who had the characteristics, who had the spirit to also awaken other people has done I serve creator's law so when I see what another being has done I see God through them therefore strengthening the fact that I serve I'm I'm meant to serve myself because I see what them serving themselves what them serving the divine has done for them so I'm gonna set my mind on doing that for me and for <laughs> strengthening that connection even though I'm human is what this is saying, even though I'm human. So. All right, trip is still successful. It's still going on, but I came to get me some food. So this trip intentions, I'm not gonna go through all of it because it was actually very sacred, um, very transformative for me. And that's all I'm gonna say on that. Dang, I look, yeah. I don't, my face is definitely showing the transformation. That's kind of eerie. Maybe it's my brightness. No, it really is just me. Anyways, I got me a free, I don't know what this is called. The man in here, he is always hooking me up. That seduction be working, y'all. I got it for free. I got it, uh, it's so much like, probably sugar in this, but it has granola in it. So that's why I love it. But yeah, I'm about to eat me a shawarma um, sandwich with some basmati rice. He said he's going to fill me. Up. Whoa, that would have came out wrong. He's going to hook me up with food until I get full. So I'm about to be going in, okay, for the free. But yeah, very blessed. Very happy to be here. Very present. I just feel good. I feel good. I feel good. <laughs>